I call it Charlotte. <laughs> and my cashew nuts to put on top. We sprinkle a bit of garnishing. Oh, who says food is not heaven? People might think that it's a bit strange to have pineapple with onions, chili, and coriander, but it's a change. It's so tasty and gives you such an appetite. Before I cut my pineapples, I'm going to pound my ingredients. I'm going to make sure Ben know what is my ingredient this morning because I'm going to make a hot, nice, sweet salad. Come on, Ben. Garlic. Hell, Nancy. Wake up. We are not in the swimming pool. We're going to work fast. We're going to get it quick. Two garlic pounding. Onions, please. Yes. These are little sh shallot and they give such lovely flavor and it keep, it really picks up in the pineapple. Can I have the chili please? One. Yes. One chili here. You can use half if you don't like it too hot. If you like it hot, you put the full one. But I'm going to put the full one. And when you break it like that, make sure you wash your hands. When it stink, it's really stink. You pound your ingredient very fine if possible. I mean fine means you still have a little bit of coarseness. 
of, of onions and garlic and chili. Obviously, if you use electric, it gets so smooth. It's different taste. My ground spice is ready. And I'm going to cut my pineapple now. Now I'm going to cut my pineapple into four. You push the knife right in and make sure you get a long knife so that you can cut it straight through. You see, this beautiful fresh pineapples without any dark spot inside. You don't really know what is inside. It's like a person. What is inside the body, the heart, you've got to go according like the pineapple. Turn again towards you. That's it. And then you can break this through. You know why I cut it before I break it? You can garnish it. I'm going to top and tail this piece of pineapple so it looks a bit decent. And don't forget, cut this piece off. It's always hard. Take your time. Don't rush. You use a small knife and you slip it through. Take your time. Pineapple is very slippery. You might, you might go and have a little bit of wood like that. You see? It's coming off. Now you can see this is still firm. Then you can slip this knife in between that and do not cut through your skin of the pineapple because you want to use it as a base. Then your friend say, oh, she's a clever girl. Well, you keep this piece here and you can see there's some juice left there. Don't pour it away, just keep it there. You use a bigger knife again and just take your time and go through it without making lots of mess. If you can't do it once, do it again. And that is a good practice. I have cut my pineapples ready for stuffing. Sugar to crystallize the pineapple. Two teaspoons of sugar. You know why? Although the pineapple is sweet, you need to get a bit of glaze for the pineapple and it crystallizes it. Then, fish sauce. Thank you. I thought he's dreaming, but he's not. It's a shame. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. People think that it's so strange to put fish sauce on pineapple. Where we come from, fish and pineapples go very well together. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. You realize that I can't use any cooking oil on it because it doesn't give a flavor. So, if you put sesame oil, thank you. Don't dream now, Ben. Oh, look, Ben can have that. See, give him this so that he doesn't dream. Thank you. Oh, you can make it a few hours ahead, cover it with cling film, and get ready to serve before your guests come. And you can see the color of this pineapple is well glazed. Now, we taken the core out, didn't we? You realize that olden days, we even eat all these and clean our teeth with it. You clean it and spit it out, or you just chew it, chew it, chew it. Ben, give me the spices. No. You can see all these spices is already grind, and I'm going to put them all in. We have shallot, two garlic, and 
one whole chilli. Now I give it a quick stir, very quickly. And Ben, quick, get my plate. Wonderful. Just one, yes. Yes. Put here. Quickly fill this up. Don't worry as you realise that all this seasoning is go on it. And please do not be worried. There's lots of juice underneath it. You can just... I'll show you, I'll show you quickly. Can I have some coriander, please? Cut coriander. Yes, don't drip, don't panic. I'm not, an, I'm not really a monster. That's it. Yeah, a few of this. And my sesame seeds. Quickly, you look at this sesame seed. Look at it. Look at Every seed is grown from the tree and every seed is all very precious and lots of calcium. And we're going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on it. Lovely. And we're going to put this here. Yes. Then we're going to have our cashew nut. <laughs> Big nuts, no small nuts, no nice nuts. Lovely nuts. This is my pineapple salad as a starter. to cook you a very special dish Nancy Lamb Lobster than using a knife. We shall cook it later. Ben, have you finished yet? Yeah, just one more. One more, he says, one more. The clothes. You know, he's always dreaming. We can't help it. Some people are faster. Some people are slower. Some people got more energy. And some people got less energy. Energy. He got lots of energy, but he loves dreaming. He always thinks of the snow and the sea. Thank goodness, he's my husband. Look at that. Let's give him a bonus for cleaning it. vegetables called kailan to go with my lobster. Kailan is a Chinese vegetables like English broccoli. You can get it in any Chinese supermarket. This vegetable got so much vitamins. I like my vegetables crunchy, stalky and longish. And kailan is such a very very special dish and when you eat it, it 
get crunchy and you get a really flavour of the green. It also reminds me of eating spring green. When the real season just starting, the freshness of the spring green is just heaven like Kai Lai. Can you see the different colour of the stock and I'll cut it into? This is what you want to eat and this is what you have to cut off. You see, you see it takes a bit harder to cut off and you clean the stock out the outer part of the stock so that it doesn't catch your teeth. Ben have cleaned my lobster. I'm going to cook it. He cut them ready for us. Let's go. Ben, pass me the oil. Come on, it's only a lobster. You've been cleaning it. You've been doing it very well. Two tablespoons of oil, two inches of ginger, and two garlic here. Quickly, Ben. Quick, 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 lobster. Don't hang about. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Look at that. There's two lobsters here. We can serve four people in these two lobsters. So, whoa, one has jumped up. You always say, why is this woman here such a small frying pan? You don't know how beautiful cooking in a small frying pan. The fire is always in the side of it. The fire don't come from the middle. It comes from the side and it's always hot and bother. This is a wok. I always call it the frying pan. Please don't. I'm not going to apologize to you for my mistake because some people use it as a wok and some people say it's a frying pan. So, can I have my ladle? I've just put a drop of water on it. As you know, lobster have its own juice. I'm almost making a lovely stock out of it. Just half a ladle of water, put them all in, and I'm going to cover it with my lid for 15 minutes. Next, I'm going to heat this next frying pan next to each other, swift this over, and here it goes over. They're all both hot, and we can fry our vegetables, get our table laid, then our guests eaten and we can say goodbye to them. This is a stir-fry vegetable with oil, oyster sauce and wine. So we're going to put the oil in. Ben have washed all the vegetables. It's very important to wash, wash the vegetables because as the water gets in, you don't need to really put any water on it. Firstly, can I have the stock? This is the hardest bit to to cook so you put this in first and watch your body it's very very hot whoa whoa lovely look at that obviously you can't cook it like that so hot because you have a domestic cooker i have a cooker here in the restaurant with a very heavy extractor then put this in slowly don't rush yourself when you put the leaves in this vegetable is one and a half pound weight. Can you see the green is starting and it's get, the size is going shrinking? As you know, vegetables shrink a lot like spinach and any other vegetable. Wine now straight away. Oh, that's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Way. Two to three tablespoons of wine. If you don't like wine, just serve it with oyster sauce. This is about two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Just sprinkle it, and then you don't need to mess about with it. Two tablespoons, and you serve it. Look at that. Look at that. Who can tell me this doesn't fit the emperor? It makes me so hungry and make me even look at it make me feel healthy my lobster is ready look at that look at that 
Now I'm going to dish the lobster out into the plate and make the sauce. This actual recipe is from Nancy Specials Recipe. It's one of my own creation. As you can see, all the goodness is all in there. And now we got to put some sugar. Quick, quick, quick. Sugar. One, two, that's it. And black beans. Quickly. This black beans sauce is already made from a jar. Two teaspoons. Two tablespoons of wine on on my lobster sauce and my corn flour. And you have a look. You have a look. Get this sauce on. My mouth is full of water. Don't let me speak too long or else it be it be water lobster. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See, can you see how bubbly it is? How busy this sauce is? Can you see it? And glazy. Now we pour it on. And can I have my spring onion and my chili? Thank you. Spring onion in. Chili in. Wonderful, wonderful.